to my channel, what is me, Ricky Thompson, and what is God? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes, it's Valentine's Day, bitch. Whoa, turn up. You know, I just really wanted to get cute for you guys and film a video for you guys talking about why I hate Valentine's Day. I hate this holiday. You know, she's a nasty girl. <laughs> she's a nasty bitch. She did not come to play. She is a holiday that will hurt you. She's giving me like this feeling I don't want to feel. So Valentine's Day, bitch. You need to calm it down. I'm not feeling you. I know a lot of people feel like me right now, so that is why I wanted to, you know, rant for you guys because, you know, we all need that one person where we're like, you know, I see you, I feel you, and thank you for understanding me. So yeah, I hope some of y'all get that out of this video. All right, so let's just get down with the holiday. Valentine's Day, oh my God, girl, girl. You are just a nasty, nasty thing. Like, you just come into my life every once a year and you just make me feel this emotion where I just wanna cry, where I just wanna stay inside all day because you know what, I don't wanna go outside and see all these happy couples around me because it's just reminding me that my ass is alone. I cannot stand when I go out and all I see is Valentine's. Like, people are forcing all that shit in my face and I don't like it at all. Like, I hate when I catch myself standing staring at a happy ass couple wishing that was me. I'm like, you know what, that could be me, but what's going on here? I haven't met anybody that can, you know, be compatible enough with me yet so I can get there yet. Like, come on now, like, where they at? Also with me, it's not hard for me to get into a relationship at all. Like, I can literally get into a relationship today, but I have standards, okay? There are certain things in a relationship that I want before, you know, I get down and get serious with somebody. Like, I'm sorry, I am great, I feel like I deserve the best, so... My standards are high. And when I look at my standards, you know, they look crazy and they're very like unbelievable, but I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck. I deserve the best. And and as soon as I get that is, you know, when I'm gonna get a relationship. But until then, you know, I'm just gonna chill, you know, search, mingle or whatever. But damn, when I walk outside and I just see everybody all booed up and shit, it makes me very sad. And I don't like it, I really don't. Like, it's so ugly. Now, we can't even hide from Valentine's Day festivities. You just can't. I mean, back in the day, you know, all I had to do was just hide indoors. I didn't have to go outside. But now, you mess around, you pick up Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and everybody just looks so happy, and then you're just by yourself looking at the picture, wishing it was you. That's just so sad, y'all. It's so sad. It's so sad. I know I am not the only one that feels that emotion, you know what I mean? Like, damn. Oh my God, bitch, what? People over here going in hot air balloon dates and uh, people closing out the restaurant for their significant other, you know, doing big extravagant things. And you got the single people in their bed, you know, watching some Netflix, you know, eating some cookies or whatever. And damn, bitch, what? I want to be on those dates. I want to. Like, oh God, oh, it's only on Valentine's Day where I feel this strongly about being single because I mean, every other day I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm single or whatever, but my person will come, you know, in the future because I am great and I know he'll be great as well. But you know, this one particular day, oh, it's just like the mood, the air, everything. It's just, I hate it. I hate Valentine's Day. I hate it. I wish I could fight her. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. I hate her. Oh my God. And I cannot stand single people on Valentine's Day. And I'm not talking about like the single people like me, like the ones who stay indoors and just stay in bed and just eat a bunch of shit watching Netflix and then complain about themselves being lonely behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Keeping it very secretive or whatever. I cannot stand the single people who are just so happy about being single. Like they're like, oh my God, I don't need anybody. I'm single, hey, what? 
celebrating Single Awareness Day. No, shut up, that's bullshit. You are lying. You are not being truthful with yourself. You know damn well Single Awareness Day is an excuse for you to not look bitter on Valentine's Day. Like, come on, be, let, let's be real, let's be real. Like, come on now. You are bitter, but you like, uh-uh, I have too much pride. I'm not bitter, I don't care. I'm celebrating Single Awareness Day. No, 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 you are bitter. And it is okay, because you know, when you look around yourself and you see all these great people and great relationships, you're like, you know what? I need to be in that. Like, where is my person? Like, I'm great. I mean, hell, I'm amazing. So I deserve that. So it's okay. It is fine being bitter on Valentine's Day. I mean, damn, as long as you're not bitter every single day of the week, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Be bitter, bitch. If you are single, be bitter. It is okay. You know, go through it on this holiday and then you will be fine, okay? Don't mess around with those bullshit holidays. Single Awareness Day does not exist, boo. It is what somebody who is sad, but they don't want to look bitter. They made that up. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. Be sad, boo. It's okay to be sad. Do that on V-Day, because V-Day is that day. You know? <laughs> and you know what? Not every year do I want to spend time with my single friends on Valentine's Day. I don't. I, I, I don't, because let me tell you why. Because, you know, we all get together. We're all single. We all know it's V-Day. And we mess around one minute. We're like, you know what? Ha! We single, ready to mingle. We're baddies with fatties. We look good. It's Valentine's Day. Day. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. And then the next minute you're like, oh my God. Mm. Oh, I wish I was in a relationship. Like, oh my God. And then y'all start talking about your exes and stuff. And that just brings in a whole lot of anger and sadness in you because you're just like, oh my God. Remember when things were cute? You remember that? But now things are just, ah, uh, you know? So, ooh, it does not make you feel good. It doesn't. When you put a whole bunch of single people in a room, just sad on Valentine's Day, uh, it's not cute. It, it's not cute. You know, sometimes it may be fun, but damn. It's not. It's not at all. I'm sorry it's not. I don't know about you guys, but I always come encounter with an asshole on this day. Like, today I posted on Snap, and I was like, you know what? Uh, I hate this holiday. It's Valentine's Day. Ew, I hate it. And then this asshole decides to snap me back and be like, you know, like, today is a day of love. The celebration of love, Ricky. You have family and friends who love you. Okay, look. Calm it down. I love my family and friends every single day. I celebrate their love every single day. I don't need a holiday to let my family and friends know that I love them. I don't. But let me tell you this. Family and friend love and love, loving or whatever are totally different types of love. You got your family and friends who are over here and they say, oh my God, I love you. I'm proud of everything you're doing. Like, oh my gosh, you are absolutely amazing. Yes, thank God for you, amen. I love, love, love you. And then you have this loving. This is the type of love that makes you wanna take off your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, my family and friends, they can't make me feel like that. They cannot. But loving can. You know what I mean? The loving who bites their lip at you. The loving just makes sure everybody knows that you are theirs. That loving right there. Y'all can take cute pictures and make hating ass bitches jealous. That loving right there. Bitch. That's the loving I want. That's the loving I want. And next time you want to come for me sideways trying to correct me, you better sit down. You better think before you stand, okay? Don't even try it because I know what I'm feeling. And you may not feel that, but I know what I'm feeling. So back the fuck up. Ah. 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 You know, I cannot wait until this holiday is over. Like, I'm so glad it's done after today. Uh, I'm going to be bitter every single year until I find somebody perfect. Uh, 
oh my god you guys I can feel it I know I'm gonna find somebody perfect for me and when I do oh my god you guys <laughs> you guys it's gonna be my man and me my man and I my man and he <sighs> I can't wait Y'all get ready for that, bitch. Y'all get ready. But anyway, that is it for this rant video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, oh my God, I am so sorry I went off. I just really was feeling some things. And you know, I feel a whole lot better. Like, I felt a lot of tension in me and that just released it. So I'm very happy about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a happy V-Day. Oh, oh my gosh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also in the comments below, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? If you're single, what are you doing? If you're in a relationship, what are you doing? Leave it down below. But anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys real soon. And remember, always remember to me, kids. Peace, love, and swag. Monday. Bye.